Paul Morphy was a chess master who lived in the 19th century in the United States. He was the best player of his time and is still considered to this day to be one of the best chess players in the game's history. Paul Morphy was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, in the United States on June 22, 1837. As a child, he learned to play chess by watching others play, and by the age of 13 had already defeated the Hungarian master, jo Johann Lowenthal. When he was 20 and 21, Morphy went to Europe and played the top players of the world, defeating all of them and cementing himself as the best player in the world at that time. Here's what Hikaru Nakamura, a chess grandmaster and one of the best players in the world, had to say about him. So Paul Morphy was the best player in the world by a bigger margin probably than anyone else in recent modern history. Then he compared him and his strength to what he think is in modern day rating points, which show a player's strength and how good they are at chess. I would say roughly using today's rating is around like 2,400 in my opinion. And the other best players are maybe around 2,000 or 2,100 at best. So he's the best player by a bigger margin. The reason Paul Morphy is so influential in the chess world is because of his development of the chess game and many of his ideas being the first to ever be presented by him still affecting the game today. The two most notable ideas that he developed that still affect the game today is are both his idea that you must develop your pieces early and get them to more active squares so they're more useful in the rest of the game, and the idea of very aggressive attacks, which he was one of the first to ever develop. A great example of a game where both the ways he was revolutionary is, both in developing his quick pieces quickly and his very aggressive attacking style can be demonstrated in this game. Even though Paul Morphy was quite a revolutionary person, his story ends in quite a tragedy. It's very tragic because he essentially quit chess. There was no competition for him. For Morphy, there was no one who could even beat him, probably, in, in individual games. So he ended up quitting chess. I think he was sort of like a lawyer, kind of. But he spent probably the last 15, I think last 15, 20 years of his life just doing nothing. Basically, Paul Morphy got bored. He could no longer continue playing chess because he had no competition. He was far ahead of his time. But even though his story ended in quite a tragedy, he is still one of the most influential and revolutionary people in the entire ch history of this chess.